welcome back to my channel all right so we're gonna talk about the dark side of spirituality um and the dark side is honestly fear um that's the dark side if you experience negative thoughts if you experience that people are out to fucking get you you're you're in fear <laughs> You're not in love. You're in fear-based energy. So, I mean, that's something you just got to work out. Um, I just saw a video and the girl was kind of like expressing that she threw away her tarot cards and all those crystals and stuff like that. And I was like, everything she was kind of say saying was kind of just building back up to she was kind of scared of herself. So, she then blamed it on these other people that was around her. Sounds like a personal problem. You see what I'm saying? So when it comes to spirituality, you're going to dabble into things that, you know, you really wouldn't do on a normal day. But I'm talking about in a sense of understanding that you're dark as well as your light. So um, I, I have my painting up here, which means there is always dark in light and there's light and dark. So um and there's a balance between the two, okay? So I'm saying that there's going to be, you know, people be like, I was in my lowest point of my life. But then I realize that's the realization here that shit's okay, okay? As well as people would be like, all oh, floating up high and everything is good. My life is good. Everything is good. <laughs> but then understanding whenever they get into a situation that just, might throw them off they're like whoa what the fuck and that's the darker side of it <laughs> but then you gotta like i said have that balance between the two and say like hey although i'm up high i'm really feeling i'm feeling good about myself there's gonna be a situation where someone will come in might fuck that shit up but then you gotta realize who the fuck you are okay and be like who the fuck are you <laughs> who the fuck are you to tell me that i'm not you know good like i'm good you know so um and understand that those people that are around you or you being in a darker energy make sure you know that like it gets better it gets better it gets better okay um i'm only saying this because i experienced an ego death and that's what a lot of motherfuckers need to experience is an ego death of a of a um disassociation of the who the fuck they are because a lot of people believe the other thoughts that have um been projected on them projected <laughs> projected to them over the years people believe those thoughts so like i'm talking about even like on a good note like people saying oh you're so pretty because da 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 da, -da. and then they believe that obviously that they're pretty which is they probably definitely are, you know, whatever. But then they take it to the head. Like, I'm pretty regardless. Like, da da da, -da. Like, you feel like you can get into every club or you feel like you can get in and um, get invited to anything, everything because you're pretty. Like, that's where that comes more of a darker energy. And it's like, that's not the point of calling you pretty. You see what I'm saying? Um, also, uh, understanding when people, you know, say, hey, you're fat. You're ugly. You're fat and ugly. All your life, especially your childhood, people always be doing some bullshit like that. And you taking that on onto your personality as if that's you, that's the darker side of it all, okay? Um, understand that none of that shit, them calling you pretty, them calling you ugly, doesn't fucking matter. It's what you feel about yourself, for real, for real. So, like, I don't do things in my life for the sake of others. I don't go get a bag for the sake of others. I don't um, flaunt my shit for the sake of others. I don't uh, cry for the sake of others. <laughs> um, I cry because I'm upset. I am internally feeling like I need to get some emotion out. So I do it for myself. You know, it's just shedding, shedding the skin of it, basically. Um, there comes a point in life where you have to realize that, hey, like,
I'm I'm gonna um I'm gonna decide to be in an uncomfortable situation for the betterment of me, okay? Um me getting out of a lot of situations, um also I, I wanna um this is I kinda just threw this in here, but I also want people to understand that death death is okay first of all death is always around you on god all right it rather if it's physical and everyone always thinks death is always talking about the physical like no we're not talking about people dying or animals dying shit like that no we're talking about in real life situations okay um me getting out of friendships that's death death to the friendship cut that shit off what the fuck is we talking about you know if we're not rocking with each other death you know go get the fuck out of my face you see what i'm saying um whenever you uh people simple shit like you change your major because you just not feeling it it's death to the situation it's okay everything's okay then you chose something that's better then you find a new friend that's better you see what i'm saying um and it's never really necessarily finding a new friend it's just kind of like um experiencing life and then you see if they really rock on the same wave as you um there's death all around so there's nothing to fear when it comes to death because death opens opportunities dead ass <laughs> dead ass like i'm being so serious like um having a um an experience of death on a closely like in a physical death related to me it was very um eye-opening and it kind of like pushed me into a different direction that i needed to go in because i don't feel like i would ever have been in that direction if someone didn't die like dead ass so but that's just on my scale on my level um and understanding that it, it was okay and it was a push to somewhere that i needed to be at you know um and at the time i didn't understand that but now i do uh the journey is it's fun it's honestly a fun ride but people make it so either you have to be it has to be super super fragilistic expiodocious type shit or it has to be like i want to hunt everyone everyone is fucking stupid i want to destroy no like no no, there's a balance, okay? There's a balance. So be balanced, okay? Be balanced between that light and the dark, fast, <laughs> feminine and masculine, above, below. Gotta be, gotta have that balance. Um, and I, to this day, I mean, I still work on it. Sometimes I'm still on the very much light side or then I'm on the very dark side of things. But that shit fluctuates, like, fucking every other hour you type shit so it's not you know i'm not like oh i'm having a little darker thoughts like i'm a bad person like what the fuck no that's just not how that works <laughs> so i hope this video just kind of like explain to you how i think about life um shit 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 ain't supposed to be sweet all the time and when shit is sweet let it be sweet. Live in the present, you know. Um, I, I want people to understand that your thoughts is what's fucking with you, high key. It's not the people around you. It's your thoughts, okay? It's really not, like, if you letting these people fuck with you, that's on you. Um, that's really on you. That's something you got to look at yourself. But then, once again, a lot of people don't want to look at themselves, so... Shit, that's on you um okay well yeah keep your zen relax enjoy the journey enjoy the ride okay um it's a fun ride um and know that fucking cards ain't evil unless you want to make them evil like what the fuck and bitch it's you're interpreting a picture so scary and evil so evil like come on now um rocks so evil like it's like shut the fuck up <laughs> like that's what i think 
<laughs> that's what i think okay um knowing who you are knowing that you are the holy spirit god and jesus flesh um is a beautiful team because if you don't understand that and you're worshiping some motherfucker some white man that's on this <laughs> beyond me some white man that's on this damn cross that mind you we gonna we gonna i want to i want to backtrack to what the fuck do you think they was worshiping before colonizers colonizers just made this shit up i hope you know that like fuck the colonizers fuck them all <laughs> like for real fuck them so like i don't have to keep worshiping something that don't even make sense to me never did never will um because i make sense to myself because once again i'm a reflection of god so why the fuck would i keep looking for this reflection on someone else makes no sense makes no logical sense makes no that's why people <sighs> zen in um now i'm gonna get into it because that's on you on you once again i don't give a fuck so um yeah no i'm not about to keep worshiping some entity that died long 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 long, long time ago but they was fucking with you and um playing mind games with your ancestors so uh then you're gonna put that onto you and make it your life story it ain't my life story so that's how that is um understand that you are powerful and you can do whatever you want to do um quite frankly you can do whatever the fuck you want to do and that that includes everything good and everything bad god said <laughs> god said okay eve adam and eve you gonna um eat this fruit mind you the fruit sex you gonna eat this fruit um you're going to gain all the knowledge of me. All right. So that means delight and dark. Okay. It wasn't going to be like, oh, rainbow. It was like, the fuck? It was rainbows before they decided to sin. But then, you know, sex, babies, ah, uh, creation, whole bunch of shit. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, maybe another video, maybe another time, another day. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be who you want to be. And realize you're God.